Tony Clark from Backpack Bed for Homeless Works in the sector and joins us now. So, Tony, I remember when there was supposed to be no Australian child living in poverty by 1990 and then I remember we were going to halve homelessness by 2020. Why is this on the rise? Well, look, the fundamentals haven't been, haven't been done. We're, we're in a situation where we've got a housing crisis, we've got underemployment, and until we have a national approach led by our leaders of the country, you can make it 2030, you can make it 2050, we're going to have Aussies sleeping on our street and being picked up by paramedics dead in the morning. So, Tony, you're obviously disappointed with where the both, both of the major parties sit when it comes to policy leading into the election on homelessness. What, to you, would a good homelessness policy actually look like? Well, first of all, we need more shelters. We need more housing. When we talk to prime ministers and MPs, etc., their ears are just closed. They just keep passing the buck to say, hey, just ask the states. It's, it's, it's horrible. It'll only cost six and a half million to have every homeless Australian sleeping on our street, given a backpack bed. It's, it's just that small amount and that's that dignity. But it's a solution which, if you have no shelter, if there is no housing, you can at least give them a backpack bed rather than a newspaper full of rhetoric. I hear your frustration. It never seems to be a major political issue. I was talking to the campaign workers for an independent candidate in Sydney on the weekend and they just bucked past it and said, oh, well, this is a state government issue, it's a local council issue. Yeah, it's always... Uh, MPs, are, they're always awesome. They, I mean, they know how to puck, pass the buck. And it's, again, as you just said, state, state, state. Blame the states. Have you asked the states? Of course we've asked the states. I just talked to a local MP and I said, what's your homeless policies? He said he didn't know. What's going on? That's how disconnected our federal MPs are. Aussies sleeping on our street. They're worried about looking for cardboard to sleep on tonight. They don't have a campaign manager. And, of course, if you're not going to be a problem to them, then our MPs are just going to ignore them. It sounds like they kind of need somehow to be registered in marginal seats or something uh, in order <laughs> for this to become an issue. Tony, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Blessings. Thank you again.